Oh, all right, let's do this. I'm getting warmed up. What are we talking about? What's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. Thanks for tuning in. Recently, I had the opportunity to work with J.J. Abrams for the title sequence of the film Star Trek Into Darkness. Where's our special effects? Into Darkness. <laughs> Star Trek. I think we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but okay, one more time. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about some of the work that went into it, the challenges and solutions. Let's take a look. All right, so we knew we wanted to create 32 unique titles in space. Now, there's two ways to do it. One, we could go into space, fly around, and shoot these, because JJ, he really likes to shoot things practically, you know, in camera when possible. However, it's very expensive to shoot in space, so we decided instead, let's do it with CG. The only thing, in the end, it actually turned out to be a little bit more expensive. The first thing we did is built things like planets and moons and asteroids and nebulas. Once we built all these assets, we imported them inside of Adobe After Effects using Element 3D. What this allowed us to do is work with the 3D planets in real time. This way, we could see exactly what the final composite would look like with all the final effects like atmosphere and color correction. Then, after seeing everything together, we could change the lighting or move the camera. Let's say we had a fire planet. Well, we can go in, change the color, and make it an ice planet. This made it easier to create a bunch of different designs. Another cool thing we did is we used the particle replicator to create fields of particles. So what we could do is just take a couple of asteroid pieces, randomize the rotation, randomize the size, and spread them out so it looks like a whole field of these objects. Huh? All right, let's take a quick break to build the Enterprise. This looks pretty straightforward. I mean, take the pieces out of the bags. I'm like halfway done. Did you guys hear? A piece just fell. Nobody move. All right. The last piece. Now, another thing we did is we built real lens flares based on actual photographic lens flares. Basically, we took a flashlight like this and shined it into the camera of some anamorphic lenses to create some really cool photographic elements. So these elements are now part of a lens flare using another one of our plugins called Optical Flares. So we basically created a bunch of custom lens flare presets based on real photographic lens flares. In addition to creating a bunch of planets and 3D objects, we also created some custom particle effects. For some of the scenes, we had really bright suns that had solar flares burning off of them and had just like a really cool atmosphere to it. So by taking these particle animations and spreading them out in 3D space around our sun, we could create a very three-dimensional look with all of these particles happening in the same comp. One of the cool things about Element 3D is you can load an After Effects comp as a texture. 
So what I did is I created a special texture using various copies of fractal noise to create some high energy looking noise and then loaded that up as the diffuse texture and then combine it all together to create a really cool looking star. We didn't really have time to do a massive particle simulation for each planet seen. So instead we came up with a new technique that would give us the 3D volume but maintain really fast render speeds. The basic idea was to create some 3D cards that had some displacement on them and then what we did was added a texture to that plane. And then by using multiple planes together, we were able to create a dense cloud-like effect. All right guys, thanks for watching. My name is Andrew Kramer. As you can tell, we had a blast working on this project. Always great to work with JJ Abrams. And of course, check out the Blu-ray DVD release for even more special features. All right, let's cut to the shot of the three guys who actually built this in time lapse. I don't know if I can do it, guys. You know what, let's do that again.